Welcome to another hard-hitting yet adorable episode of the Rescue Rundown. I'm Dave Morris here in the Oklahoma's Video Studio. Joined, as you can see right there on your screen, by Abby Wolf from the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. Abby, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Who's your friend that we're hearing from? <laughs> this is Eros. Oh, and good timing, Eros. <laughs> she, uh, she's very vocal this morning. She wants to talk to you. <laughs> what an adorable little dog. Oh my gosh, adorable. And you know what's interesting is we are seeing so many of these little ones look just like her right now. Um, but who can complain about that? Because they no, are adorable. No, I mean, that's, that's what it, I mean, that, you look at a typical dog, it's this. Yes. You look up dog in the dictionary, it's Eros. Especially so. Oklahoma dog. She definitely looks like one. So tell us about Eros. What do we know about her? Eros is a three month old collie, possibly shepherd mix. Um, it, it's anyone's guess when they're this small <laughs> and we don't know uh, their lineage. Um, but she is just outgoing as can be and sweet. She loves to give puppy kisses. She's just a really <laughs> great dog. Um, and she has siblings? She does. She has, uh, she's one of four. She's one of four. Yeah, and they all look a little different. Uh, she's probably the second most outgoing. There's a little one in that group that really wants to communicate with people. So. And as of this taping on Wednesday morning, all four are still available for adoption? Yes, they're at our adoption center today, 7500 Northwestern. Today's topic on the Rescue Rundown, and this is a really good topic. It's one of the two most um, questions that you're asked the most often. Frequently asked questions, I think yes. is what I'm trying to number say one. here. This is number one. Yeah. Uh, what would be number two, by the way? Number two is, what do I do if I've lost my pet? But the number one question is, I found this dog, what do I do? What do you do when you come across a stray animal? Well, there are so many different options, but before you approach a stray animal, proceed with caution. I mean, stray animals, you don't know their story, you don't know how they're going to react, so pay close attention to body language and make sure that you're proceeding with caution first. Some of it is a little bit of common sense involved. In yeah, that. you know, if a dog is in a corner, it's not going to like that. If it's showing you signals um, that it's not uncomfortable, then it's probably best to leave it to the professionals. Beyond the common sense and if a dog's, you know, bearing teeth and all that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. uh, the second most important thing uh, depends on location, right? Absolutely. So it's a, a myth that you take it to the shelter that you live in. However, it's best to take it to the shelter that you found it. So it's not necessarily where you live, it's where you found the animal. It's where the animal came from. So, um, you know, it uh, from there, it depends on where you're at. So it's different from Oklahoma City to metro areas to um, the rural areas as well. So let's start with Oklahoma City. I, I found this dog in Oklahoma City. Step one, if it has tags, Check the, tags. Check the tags. It's pretty common that sense. That should be the information. Absolutely. Right if you can't get close enough, you need to leave it to the professionals, but definitely <laughs> check the tags. Um, step two would be microchips. So many dogs are embedded with a microchip. This little one is as well. Um, and those can be read with scanners. And those scanners can be found anywhere from a vet's office to even organizations like OK Humane, but also your local PetSmart. If it has a band field, they have a scanner. So stopping there first uh, will ensure that we can find the owner much more quickly than other options. And your third step does involve the welfare share shelter. Absolutely. Oklahoma City Animal Welfare, their shelter is located on Southeast 29th. Um, they are the hub for lost animals in Oklahoma City, found in Oklahoma City. So if you are an owner looking for a lost pet, you're going to go there first. And if you're a rescue organization, you're also going to go there first uh, to pick from the animals up for adoption. There's a stray hold there where your animal can be for three days before it moves on to its next step, whether that's into an adoption program or transferred out to another organization. Um, so we always encourage people to stop there first. Eros, <laughs> lending a little bit of advice yeah. <laughs> herself. Uh, but this differs a little bit from outside the city, city limits or rural areas. Absolutely. So if you're in the metro area, like if you're in Dell City or Moore or Norman or Edmond, those kinds of places that might have a local shelter, you're going to want to check with your city manager's office if you don't know where that is um, and go there first after checking the tags and the microchips, of course. Uh, but the rural areas is where things get a little bit uh, different. Um, step. <laughs> she really. This is, is the just... most vocal animal we've had yet. <laughs> Twenty-two episodes in. She's and... having fun. Um, so step one would be obviously check the tags and microchips again if you're in a rural area. But a lot of rural areas don't have your local animal control um, budget. So you're going to basically print flyers, hang them in places like coffee shops or quick stops where you know people will frequent. Um, and then your next step would be. Um, to contact your local government, see if there's any options for you out there as far as animal control goes, because a lot of communities actually contract with other communities to provide those services. It's just a matter of asking if that's a resource for you. And then last, contact your local law enforcement if you cannot find any other option. 
Another option, and we see this all the time, social media. Uh, somebody will post something oh, yes. on Facebook or Instagram, uh, it's basically a, a picture of the animal or a poster or whatever with some information. Hey, lost this in this certain area. Yes. That's a good way to, to get the information. Isn't it amazing how social media has really just changed so many things in our lives? And that's no exception uh, with lost pets. <laughs> the, uh, there's so many resources available, whether it's on Oklahoma City, Lost and Found Pets, Oklahoma City, Craigslist, but also there's statewide uh, Facebook groups as well that you can join to see all the pets that are being found in your communities. Very good. That's what to do if you encounter a stray animal. A couple things before we get out of here. You had a donor event last night. How'd that go? It went great. You know, we just love to give back to our donors whenever they've given so much to us. So we love to just get together and say thanks, basically. And it was great. And coming up, you have a big event. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my furry Valentine is <laughs> upon us. Um, so we are gearing up. I'd love to talk to you about that next week. Uh, we're gearing up for a big Valentine's Day event. So more to come on that. Very good. Abby Wolf, the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. Thanks as always for stopping by. Thank you for having us. And Eros. Thank you from her as well. Of course. <laughs> Go see her as well at the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. More Rescue Rundown can be found on newsok.com.